Hi friends! So today I wanted to talk about something really, really special, something that has completely changed my life. 180 degrees, it has changed my life and probably one of the best decisions that I ever made. Now for those of you that don't know my story, um, I had a daughter back in 2012 and her name was Gracie and she was born with a congenital heart defect. She basically only had half of a heart and um, she, she passed away after being with us for 82 days and losing her just completely changed my life. 100% and um, not not necessarily for the good and not necessarily for the bad but um, I, I experience grief every single day I miss her every single day I'm sad every single day but I also find joy um, every day so that's probably my biggest tragedy of my life the hardest thing I've ever experience and gone through and I'm still going through five years later. The the second biggest thing that has happened to me that again changed my life and just flipped it upside down. In 2015 I was diagnosed with stage three melanoma cancer and that's something that I never never thought I would hear the word cancer especially for myself being I'm I'm healthy I take care of myself I exercise I eat vegan <laughs> you know like I just I never thought that that would happen to me but it did and I went through two years of treatment and hallelujah I can say today that there is no evidence of cancer in my body right now um, so I have, I have a lot to be thankful for, but I also have a lot of stress. I also have a lot of anxiety um, going through daily life. And after I lost my daughter, um, I dug right into work. I just work, I went from job to job to job, finding different things to do. I even started a whole nonprofit organization and ran it myself. <laughs> like it was, I was always working. That was, that was my distraction. That was my, that was my place where I could just be numb and not feel anything. And since my daughter, Gracie, passed away, I've just, I've been working for myself. I've been running the nonprofit. I've been running five other businesses upon that, making YouTube videos all the time. And that is just a stressor in itself, just putting my whole story, my whole life, everything just out on a platter like for everybody to see and feel. And just, I mean, maybe I'm braving that, but God darn it, I just. I have so many high expectations for myself. I realize that I stress myself out so much on trying to be this, you know, perfect Becky. Even with, you know, the grief and the sadness, like, I, I've always been honest. I'm a very, very honest person. And so putting it all out there is just like, whew, that's a lot of stress, my friends. It's a lot of stress. and. Um, I just have high expectations for myself, I always have, and I feel like I'm never enough. And just a year ago, I started another, yet another business that was just taking over my life, and it was like 10, 12 hour days, and it was just, it was not okay. And I knew that was not okay, and I did not want my life to be about work. I have another daughter to take care of. I have this life to live. I have an amazing husband. I just, I was given this life, this gift, and I just, I wanna live it. I don't wanna live to work. I wanna work, you know, work to be able to live and do the things I want to do and see the things I wanna see. And um, so I decided um, to hire a life coach. <laughs> It's, it's, it's very very hard for me to ask for help. I just I'm not that person. I'm very independent I can do everything myself because I have done everything myself like it's 
So hiring somebody to help me with my life and figure this all out and just get my crap together, like that was, that was my original intention on hiring a life coach. And when I started with the amazing Krista Kathleen, oh my goodness, she, even just that first consultation with her, just talking about my story and you know she cried with me and she just she <laughs> she felt more like a friend like somebody that i met for the first time but she felt like she was my friend she was listening she was just she was there crying with me she was just a real person like <laughs> you know somebody that just has my back and wants to truly, genuinely help me through this. And so I've been working with her for almost nine, 10 months. And you guys, she she has taught me so much. And I have to say that the, the first day that I met her, she told me this and it has stuck with me every single day since then. <laughs> She told me, Becky, if you are making a decision to do something, you have an idea to do something, think about, is this exciting you? Is this like a, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to do it. This is, I'm so excited for like, if it's not, if it's not a hell yeah kind of thing, then don't do it. Just don't do it. If it's like a, yeah, this is going to be great, but you're not like, you don't dig down deep and just think about it like, oh heck yeah, I'm going to kick butt and this is going to be awesome and I'm so excited for it. Like she, she taught me that. That was like the biggest lesson I've ever been taught, like period. If you are going through your day, through your just work, everything, if you're if you're not feeling oh hell yeah about it, then don't do it. It's not worth it. It's it's not gonna turn out the way you want it to be. <laughs> it just isn't. And that's just what I've learned. And and I still make those decisions where I'm just like, nope, I have to do this because it's gonna be good for me and da 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 da. And at the end of it, I always, always realize that, okay, well, maybe that didn't go so well. <laughs> but just in, in all my sessions and all my talks with her, like she has truly changed the way I think about things, the way I look at things, the way I treat myself and what self-love is and to just put down the work, which that's, it's really hard for me to just put down the work. I forgot the things that I enjoyed in life and she really helped me take a step back and just um, live right now, right now. She's taught me endless things, but just, you know, in opening up and just realizing, you know, the questions she asked me and, and the things that I just, I would never ask myself, but it's like, okay, know the answer to that. And she really made me think. And it's just, it's really made me focus on myself, which is not something I do, it just isn't. Um, but she, she has challenged me. She has opened my eyes to new things. Um, and she's really helped me take care of me. And, um, I always just feel so good after a meeting with her. Every single meeting, I just, I, I, I end it with like, okay, what do I want to do for me right now? Like, it's all about, you know, just taking care of me. It's like, do I want to read a book? Do I want to take a bath? Do I want to go on a walk with my daughter? Like, it's just, you know, it's just, it's been so good. It's been so good. And I just, she has helped me realize that the job that I was doing, the business that I was running this past year was not healthy. It was very toxic. And no matter how many times I pushed through and kept going with that business, it always kept on coming back to, oh gosh, I just, I don't know how much longer I can do this. I'm so good at this, but it just stresses me out. I hate working 10 hours a day. I never see my family. And just overall, just sad. <laughs> 
I was just, I'm not, I was not living my life. I was not doing what I wanted to be doing or what I felt I was meant to do. Like, did I see myself doing that job 10 years from now? Like, truly, really. She helped me realize that I was so passionate about nutrition and just helping others and educating others with the vegan plant-based lifestyle. Like, it was, so <laughs> I made a huge decision and she helped me get to that point. Um, and starting, ending that business and starting a new and starting something new is so super scary you guys it's so super scary but it was my dream my dream is just to just be me and do what I'm good at and what I'm passionate about like making recipes and publishing a cookbook and you know starting a vegan coaching business and just being a good mom and and focusing on on Gracie and in my nonprofit and and after I made I made the website I started the blog I did I just it was I put it out there and there was a huge weight off my shoulders you guys and like you yeah, felt a little bit free I felt a little bit free and um, so I took I took a good week around Christmas time and I, I watched some Hallmark Christmas movies. You guys, I just sat and I watched Christmas movies. Legit. I did. <laughs> it felt so good. It just, I never took time for myself. I never just sat down like, what do I want to do today? And I made it a point and I've scheduled it in my calendar to make a point of doing that every single day. Um, even if it was just a few minutes, just just take that time and sit down and think, what do we wanna do for me today, right now? What do I need? What do I need in this moment? And sometimes it's as simple as, Amelia, can I have a hug? <laughs> you know, like something simple like that. It's just taking that time and not being overwhelmed and stressed out and just, I mean, I'm a work in, in progress. Like, I am a stressaholic on the recovery train to freedom, my friends. Like, that's, <laughs> I feel like that's my song. Like, <laughs> right there. So all in all, like, this past nine months has just been so good doing life coaching with Krista and I just I I want I want the whole world to just be coached by her <laughs> like she just she can just turn the whole world upside down so if you're looking to focus on your own business <laughs> she is your lady and if you are looking to start a vegan or plant-based lifestyle I am your gal <clears throat> So that's a little bit about my uh, experience with life coaching, when I started it, how it's going. I'm never going to stop because it's so good for me. And that's all I got for you today. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. And as always, go spread some happy. I'll see you guys later.